This video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at the periodic report functionality on the XEA202, 301 and 212 registers. I'm using the 202, but uh, a lot of the principles will, will apply for those other machines in the range. Obviously on the 301 you'll have the audit role as well. Um, so we've looked at X reports. So we've done an X report in my previous video showing you how to do a flash read, um, to see what transaction you've done during the day maybe for a shift change that hasn't reset the data. Then we've done our end of day Z1 report. Um, so it's similar data, but the end of day and has reset it so we can then trade from zero the following day. Now, when you do that Z1 report, although you've reset the Z1 file, you've pushed all the sales information over into the X2, Z2 um, area. So the data hasn't gone away. Um, it can stay hidden. You don't have to use this report function. If you're happy just with a daily report and that the till's added up every day and you're doing your overall accounts via an accounts package that you just put a daily um, till total in, that's fine. You don't need to worry about this, but it is a useful function. Um, so if we pop the MA key in and have a look at it, turn the key round to X2Z2, it works exactly the same as the X1Z1 just with bigger data in there. So to do an X2 report, so this is a non-resetting report um, for the periodic area, so it's not resetting the data. You see the report looks exactly the same as the other reports, it's just got a lot more information in it because it's from a bigger period of time. Um, so it's the, the, the how you use this best is, is by routine. So you've only got one shot at the periodic reporting. There's once you've done a Z in the periodic report, which I'll do shortly, then the information does reset. So you can use that to your advantage for either weekly, monthly, or quarterly reporting. Um, the problem is, is that there's no reminder for you to do that other than yourself. So you need to get into a routine of either doing this Z2 report every Sunday or on the last day of every month or on the last day of every quarter. So if I then run the resetting one, it's dot TLNS, exactly the same as the X1, Z1. So if this was the end of the week, if we say this was, I don't know, 10 o'clock on a Sunday night or whatever, I'm going to have a Z report, a Z1 report for every single day that I've been trading. And then my Z1 reports, if I add all those up, they'll be basically this will be a consolidated version of them. So you're getting all the same information, it's just consolidated. It's not necessarily a weekly report or a monthly report or a quarterly report, but it is if you make it. So if you do a Z1 every single day is trading. And then on the last day of every month, you also run a Z2 after you've run the Z1, then you'll have a monthly report from the register. Um, and the till will also be back to zero apart from the grand total. So if we run the report again, basically there's nothing on there apart from your GTs, which you can edit out if necessary. And I'll have another video explaining how to do that. Um, so I hope that's um, been useful. Um, Always turn the key back to reg, in fact, pop the OP key in. So my, my takeaways from that are, you can, there is a periodic reporting function. When you use it to do your weekly, monthly, or quarterly reports, you've got to remember to Z it rather than exit. So press that decimal point button to reset the data. Um, and they're only, you only get one chance at having it. So you've got to choose, do I want weekly reporting, do I want monthly reporting, or do I want quarterly reporting? And then you've got to stick to the routine. So if you come back to the till and go on the 3rd of March or whatever, and go, oh, I haven't done my monthly report for February. You can't have a monthly report for February. It will be February plus the three days of March. Um, so I hope that made sense. Uh, we've got plenty of other videos showing you how to get the best out of these machines, which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.